Right. Completely different. Yeah. We've never done anything like this before. It's an easy place to fit into. It's not a challenge. Yeah. It's a very relaxed way of life. Everybody is like very friendly and very helpful. And we just sort of like seem to fit in really easily. Yeah. Okay, we'll all fit in here, I reckon. Squeeze in. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. You hold on. Why don't I go there? Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day in paradise. Welcome to a new vlog. Hope you're all doing well. We are here in Barakai. If you haven't seen the last couple of videos, we arrived a few days ago. We've been enjoying the beach, enjoying a few hotels where we're staying, having a really, really good time. And as you can see right now, we are on a tricycle. We are heading towards a beach that Lucy and I have never been to before, ever. Someone at the hotel told us about this, a little bit of local knowledge, and apparently it's not gonna have any of the green seaweed that we've been experiencing on the white beach. Bulabog. <laughs> that's the name, the, that's the name of the beach. Bulabog, yeah. All right. And it's the other side of the island, so obviously the algae is seasonal. If we were here in six months, it wouldn't be there. So we wanna experience some white sand without any hints of green, fingers crossed. Um, yes, and your first tricycle ride. Yes. yes. It's yes. not the real one, because it's electric. But it's, it's the future. Yeah, it is. Exactly. It is. We've literally just seen one full of ladies and they went over a bump and her handbag just flew out. Oh <laughs> no. Yeah, hold on to your personal belongings yes. at all times. Travel at your own risk. Put your arms and legs inside yeah. the car at all times. Yeah, hear the safety announcement as no, we no, go no. away. <laughs> <laughs> this is not for your video. Yeah, that's it. Yes. So, yes. so cost wise, this is costing us 100 pesos, so it's around a seven minute drive. Uh, 100 pesos is quite a good price. So it's quite a good price. Really good. Yeah, it seems like they're not. We've had it in the past where drivers try and increase the rate a little bit because you're tourists and foreigners, but it doesn't seem to be the case here, which is really cool. Also, yeah. nice, nice being able to vlog on a tricycle. Usually they are those older motorbikes, which are just super loud. No, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Whoa. Yeah. There's a competition on this weekend. Oh, is there? Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Really? Wow. We missed that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we missed Sukkos on that. Oh. Back just as well. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is a little bit windy. Actually, very windy. And uh, yeah, a lot of kite surfers out. But as promised, no green. A little bit of seaweed, but. Yeah, this is cool. Never, ever. I don't know why, like on our previous Barakai trips, we have never come here. But here we go. Got one of those trees that's like bent over in the wind. You can climb up and get a really cool photo. From the US, Middle East, China and Europe, for a three-day jewel of skills, innovation, and daring maneuvers. Wow, <laughs> so that's starting today. No, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Yeah, so it is really windy. We think we, we do want to have a swim today, so we're going to like check out this beach for a little bit, and then I think we're going to walk over, and we're going to be further along at this point, so we're going to probably be in station two, I want to say, maybe. So we're going to go and swim over there, but really cool to see this side. We've never wandered over this way. Um, but yeah, kite surfers paradise and there is a competition that started yesterday so that is why everyone's kind of out here it really is the place to do that if that's your thing very very cool so it seems like there is a little beachfront along here as well with some restaurants and bars maybe it's kind of a little bit more local a little bit less touristy than the white beach where you've got like your starbucks and your i think there's mcdonald's down there and stuff wow there's like a really fancy high-end spa next to this sort of more like just uh, i guess that's like a sorry sorry store someone's house kind of stands out like the contrast wow jason and claire were saying how they've noticed like everything is just so different from the uk obviously but like they've they've never been to the philippines so they were saying things like seeing all the electric wires up above in the sky over ground that's so different to the uk because hello hello Hi. Hey. <laughs> 
because in the UK, all of our electricity is underground, so you don't see any wires. Stuff like the driving, when I was driving them around in Manila, they were like, oh, like, watch out, watch out. It's almost like you're kind of bracing for like something to happen or like a collision or something when you're driving. And they were kind of like, it took them a while to realize that that's just how it runs. After about 10 minutes, they were like, oh, okay. So it's kind of, it kind of all just flows. It kind of all just works. People kind of let each other go. If you want to go somewhere, you have to kind of drive in. So there's a lot of things like culturally, bit of a culture shock from the UK, definitely. But at the same time, I feel like they're sort of settling in. They're sort of getting used to the way and the vibe. Oh, we're good, thank you. Quite cool, actually, walking from one side to the other, which we've never, ever done. Now we're kind of crossing through this little street where there's all shops and things going on, things that we never would have seen and that we've never seen before, which I love, because obviously we have been to Barakai many times. If you've watched the channel, you've seen us come here before. But I always like to do new things. Oh, look at those donuts. Yeah, that's crazy. Squeezed in between two shops. Yeah, it's, it's quite often a contrast when you're walking around places like this with like the resort. Motorbike coming. Oh, motorbike oh, picking up. You. Everyone yeah. over. Pick a side, any side. Hold on there. Hold on. Articulated lorry delivering to the mini market. It's quite nice seeing a different area actually, just going down a little back alley and seeing the the life down here, which is always good, but I think we're nearly back at White Beach, so it's nice to see it at the beach, but we didn't really want to stay there. Oh yeah, nice pictures. Very nice. Street art. Street art. Murals. Murals. <laughs> how are you feeling having been here for nearly two, is it, how long have you been here? A week and a half now? Coming out for two weeks? I have no idea. I've lost all track of time. What day is it today? Is it Saturday? It might be Saturday. Well, we left on Wednesday week before, so it must be day 10 for us. Wow, okay. And obviously being in Manila was like so different to being back home. Do you feel like because you've been here a bit longer, you've got more adjusted to it? Or is it still quite like I've definitely got adjusted, adjusted to the heat. Yeah. Um, funny today, some friends have messaged to say it's snowing <laughs> where they are in wow. uh, Yorkshire, like the north of England. Yeah. Which is a bit bizarre. Yeah. Snow. Oh, God, and we're here in 30 plus degrees. Yeah. It's quite funny. Yeah, I, I feel like it's, it's an easy place to fit into. It's not a challenge. Yeah. It's a very relaxed way of life. Everybody is like very friendly and very helpful and we just sort of like seem to fit in really easily. Okay. Corrugated iron hoarding that just looks like nobody lives there right next to like a spa hotel that looks polished and buffed. Yeah, and spent. huge contrast. Yeah, huge contrast right next door to each other. Yeah. And you've got like an amazing little hotel sanctuary with a little sort of supermarket for locals next door on either side. Yeah. It's def they're definitely so different stark. to England, isn't it? Like, it's such a, I guess this is like very authentic Asia that we're in yeah. now. Um, and you don't normally holiday here, do you? But, uh, it's very different for you. We're so, more um, a Spain, Canary Islands type person, yeah. where it's, it's, it's built up. Yeah. Um, there's villas, right. completely different. Yeah. We've never done anything like this before. I mean, we did Sri Lanka, we did the Maldives, but the Maldives was an island. Yeah. We a captive audience. There was nothing on the island except the resort we were staying in. Yeah. An island reef all the way around, and you ate and drank everywhere on it. Sri Lanka we saw a bit of with some tours. Uh, and it's kind of a, the nearest thing that we've been to is probably that, Sri Lanka. Right, there's one there. Yeah. Right, there's one there. So this is station two, which we potentially also have never been to. I mean, it's like, it's all the same beach if you've never been here before. It doesn't really matter like where you stay or where you go because it's just one long beach. But the sand, probably just the lighting and the sky and stuff today. Oh, I can barely open my eyes because the reflection, oh, I need some sunglasses today. <laughs> the reflection on the sand is, it just looks extra white. It looks super white today. And you know what? It's nice, it's busy, but it's not too busy. Everyone's kind of sat back in the shade. Um, there's going to be some different bars and restaurants along this kind of area. See, maybe we'll get a drink, maybe we'll get a coconut. Hopefully someone will come along. Hopefully someone will come along and offer us a fresh buco from the tree. It was, how much was it yesterday? 100 pesos, I think. I think he wanted 150 and I said, we'll do it for 100. And he's like, okay, cool. So let's see what the prices are like in station two, if it's any different. I think the guys want to swim. We actually leave Barakai tomorrow. So we're going to make the most of the sand, make the most of the water, get out past the algae past the green and then you're back in that beautiful pristine clear water Booker on the way they just come over on the beach and say do you want a coconut okay so what pesos. oh you got it for 100 again yeah did he say 100 yeah i didn't say 150. No. okay cool so a little bit cheaper yeah. down in station two yeah potentially i was saying was, yesterday was 150, 150 but we got I, it to 100. yeah i wonder what it is here like rule wise because obviously coconuts grow on these trees 
Is it like first come first serve? If you just come and chop it down, you can sell it to someone, or is it like people own the trees and they they grow their coconuts? Like what? That, how does I've it work? I've never thought about that. Nah, they don't own the like, trees. Because like if you chopped it too early, then it's like too small. Yeah, I bet they come oh, down late at night or early in the morning. Yeah. Get a stash. How quickly do they grow as well? How can there always be coconuts available? Yeah. No, exactly. And, and, and it's like, if you wanted it that day, but then other person was going to wait one more day for it to grow a bit more, but someone's come and chopped it down. Like, let yeah. me know in the comments, guys. Yeah. What's the coconut culture of the Philippines? Yeah, the industry here. The buko industry. How does it work? Or are they just shipped in from another island because they're not going to have any left here because people have <laughs> Yeah, they're from Manila. They're probably from another <laughs> island, aren't they? Like, realistically. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kuya. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, boy. Thank, thank you, Pop. I'm pretty sure he's speaking fluent Tagalog. He said Salamat, Pop. Oh. <laughs> you want some, baby? Koda speaks fluent Tagalog yeah, now. Yeah, he'll pick it up quicker than we would, so yeah. actually now's the chance. Nice? Sand in there. Mm, we put sand no, in there. No, not yet. When we're done. It. How we is it? Drink it first. Have some? It's very good. Hi. Right. Very nice. Um, oh, the sun's gone as I'm trying to take a lovely photo. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that they're using plastic straws in Boracay. Yeah, they've made the switch to the green, uh, the electric tricycles. So I it was super green here. the next step needs to be the plastic straws. Although Koda, when he eat, when he has a paper straw, he just bites it, and then I have yeah. to get a new straw. So for Koda, actually, this is easier, but it's not good for the environment. We have noticed some improvements with plastic in the Philippines. Like when we used to come, if we'd order like anything, like a takeout coffee or something. It would always get wrapped in like a plastic bag and like we'd carry it out. Uh, that, has, that has kind of changed a lot. Everything used to be wrapped in plastic, even in the supermarkets and stuff. Like individual carrots were wrapped in plastic, for example. I think it's improving slowly, but yeah. We wanted to put sand in and oh, we thank need to neck this booker as quickly as we can so he can use it as his toy. More. Mm. More. <laughs> more. Here you go, Koda. Here you go. Solomon, put it in it. More, more, more. Do you like the book, huh? <laughs> and what's this one? Koda, what's this one? Stegosaurus, yeah, shouldn't we? What's this one? Yeah, and what's this one? This one. What's that one? Litrion. Oh, sounds like a birthday to me. No, it sounds like a concert. Or oh, no, shots. They're, they're, putting some, like, big thing they're bringing out shots, I think. They're dancing. Dance. What's that? What's that? That's a tie run, that's not a recipe. Yeah. Oh. So, just saying about how we're doing new things that we've never done here before. We are in now the D Mall area. I didn't realise it was like an outdoor mall. There's like so much going on. I think there's a Little Wave coffee shop here potentially. There's like a Power Mac Centre, New Era store. And it's like just off the beach, it's like this square. There's so much going on. Thank you, maybe later, thank you, thank you. So we're going back to give Koda his nap now. Um, Jason and Claire were like, actually we really want to stay and have a look around these shops and maybe enjoy the beach a little bit longer, which is really good because it means that they're enjoying this place. This is so cool here. I did not actually know it existed. I don't know how we've been to Raqqa like five times and never seen it. Um, but it's amazing, like all the different shops, little souvenir places, some restaurants, coffee shops, cafes, drinks. Fountain. Nice fountain, yeah. But I don't know how we've never been here. It's really nice. Yeah. I quite like to look around here. Are those your hats there? Can you have a look at the hats? I could always do with a new hat. I'm a bit confused. I don't know how we've never been here. I know. Yeah, it's really weird. Oh wow, is there mango? There's an ube mama there, which is quite popular. Loads of like stores just selling fruits, little restaurants, some barbecue stuff, some mango stuff, mango ice cream. Yeah, this is cool. Selling like rice and fresh fish. There's like a butcher's here. It suddenly feels like way more local all of a sudden.
Mexico. Yeah. Pass. Hi. 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 Bus. Hi. Bus. Hi bikes. Hi bikes. Hi bikes. Hi bikes. Hi trees. Hi, hi mom. Hi what? Hi bikes. I'm jumping in here to thank the sponsor of today's video. And do you know what? It is not often that I get excited about a new phone. But when this company got in touch and they said, hey, do you want to check out this product? I had a look and I was like, cool, this is something different. This is the Doogie V30 Pro. And this is an ultra rugged phone. Being someone who likes to travel a lot and also being a parent with a toddler running around, to have something more rugged and sturdy is very, very cool. You can just see by the design of this, the corners, extra padding, the rubber protection all around the screen. Literally just last week, Lucy smashed her phone screen. We had to pay for a replacement, 300 pounds. <sighs> So this is an Android phone. It's got an amazing 200 megapixel camera. It's got a 32 megapixel Sony front camera, a huge 512 gigabyte storage, 32 gigs of RAM. The menus are nice and fast. The screen is crisp. It's got super night mode and night vision. So you can take photos in the dark. It's also got wide angle and macro lenses. A huge battery, so great battery life. Button on the side is a fingerprint sensor. So when you unlock your phone, you're straight in and really useful if you are traveling. It has dual SIM card slot, as you can see here. So you can put two different sim cards in your home one and then a travel sim card or maybe you run a business but you don't want to carry around two phones so you can have your personal sim card and a business sim card in as well it has a flagship grade dimensity 750 5g chipset which basically means this thing's powerful. You might be surprised at the price of this thing as well. Check it out, there's a link in the description if you need something that's a bit more rugged with a great camera too. Let's get back to the vlog. <laughs> All right, we're here making some coffee. What's the name of the coffee? It's uh, Flat White. Yeah, but your your company? It's Cup and Drip Coffee Shop. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. so we're steaming some milk. They don't have a uh, milk pitcher, so we are, that's getting there now. What we call DIY. DIY. <laughs> I said, I want a flat white, and they said, we'll make it happen for you, no yeah, problem. Yeah. All right, there you go. so here we go. We have some steamed milk. Uh, can I use this? Yeah, 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 yeah? you can All use right. it. Yeah. Let's go. Clean that later, give that a little, little purge. All right, so let's see. <laughs> I've never uh, poured milk from a, another cup before. I don't think we're gonna get much latte art here, but however, do you know what? That's gonna be, that's gonna be good. Let me taste this. How is it? Perfect temperature. It's very nice, bro. Wow, thank That's you good. So much. That's really good. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's super nice. Thank really you. good. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate welcome, it so man. much. Hey. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Follow on our Facebook page. It's yes. Cafe Drip Coffee Shop. And we're also available on Dini Weed. And then we also have Instagram. There you go, yeah. nice. <laughs> Just don't order a flat white because I might make it. I might end up making it for you. All right. They do really good iced coffee here. Come and get your iced coffee. Thank All right. You. Thank you so Thank much. So you know I've been there, but I see your two colors shining through. Two colors, but I see your. Two Long Island iced teas each. No. Very nice. No, that's right. Oh, two okay. tequila. Tequila sunrise. sunrise. Good as well. Oh, lovely. Two each. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. It was two, that's all I heard, right? Two, two for, for three hundred. Two. Oh. two for three hundred. Ooh, that's good. Bargain. Yeah. yeah. Absolute yeah. bargain. One just cost. Absolutely. So we had then, eight of those each. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we started to walk back. Yeah. And then um, we were planning to go to the beach. Yeah. But as we walked down, no seaweed on the water. So really? I just said to Claire, oh, well, I'm just sitting yeah. just sitting in the sun yeah. for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we placed our mats down, lay down on the beach, and then these three guys came over who were sat next to us and just said, would we mind sort of watching their stuff? Right, okay. So, German going into the water. So right, yeah. where are you from? Yeah. Germany, Germany, Shanghai, yeah. Colombia. So Interesting. we started chatting with a guy from About Columbia. half an hour at least with him. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, and then we just came back and dipped in the pool. Good, and good. Then Got the it. rest is history we're here. Lovely. Yeah. There Nothing you go. in between. That's been in the whole afternoon. Brilliant. Really relaxing. Dinner, yeah. Yeah, exactly. good, good. They 
we have come to Poco Deli for dinner this evening. Uh, yep. It's actually an early dinner because we're going to have sunset after we've eaten. Um, so it's actually only 4 pm, so it's a very early dinner. But um, it's part of Station X, so it's literally like around the corner from the hotel, super convenient. And I've never actually heard of this place. We must have walked past it loads of times, but we've never been in here before. And it's quite a cool menu. It's all like sausages and meats and cheeses and not what you'd expect on a tropical island. Uh, but we haven't had food like this in ages, so I'm very excited. The owners actually ordered for us all their best sellers. There's one in BGC. There's one in BGC. I knew there was. I recognised No the way. So yeah, very excited for dinner tonight. It's been a nice relaxing day. George and I have actually been in the room for the afternoon editing and booking some flights for another destination very soon. Uh, Coda's been having a nice long nap. These two have been off drinking at the beach, so... <laughs> <laughs> They've had a very good day. <laughs> yeah. like, wow. wow, thank you so much. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Looks lovely. Oh, I've got an entire jug to myself. Yes, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Cheers. Well, you haven't really have you? No. Yeah. 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 So, I haven't had sangria for years, I don't think. Oh, Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Not too sweet, which I like. That's going down very, very easily. Lovely. Try it, it's really good. I want this one. I want this one. It's nice, but I'm just, I can't quite put sangria on this island one right now. It just, no. It feels yeah. wrong. I feel like I should be in but Spain. It's a Spanish restaurant. Yeah. yeah you have it's to, authentically Spanish. Yeah. It's a Spanish restaurant. I need to not look outside for a second. Get in the zone, yeah. yeah. If it was a flamenco, <laughs> flamenco dancer over there, it sounds very loud. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. Mm. Nice. Sausage platter. Yes, yeah, sir. Wow. Uh, sauerkraut. Lovely. That's the homemade sauerkraut. So uh, the big one is Hungarian sausage Hungarian. and cabanossi. Then the small one is Vienna and the prisoner sausage. Nice. That's very, nice. About very good. Homemade sausages. Very, very, very nice. Very thank, nice. thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Wow. Lucky boy. Look at all that orange. I'll keep you happy for a minute. It's got a good base actually. Cool. So we've cool. just eaten our sausage platter. 10 out of 10, amazing sauerkraut. Now we've got a, what do they say? Quattro... Quattro carne. Carne yeah. pizza. Poor meat. Poor meat. More, 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 more pasta, but more sausage. Mm -hmm. it's a nice thin fresh base, oh. it's cheesy, it's meaty. Lovely. That's Food blogger incoming. That's yeah. a 10. Is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, as you know, it's a one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> Keeps it for himself. Oh. Oh. Barbecue oh. ribs. What, is, what are you that? doing to us? No. Oh. Ribs are my favourite, like number one. No, 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 the mo. No, 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 mo. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really oh my good. God, smells good. Smell the barbecue sauce coming off it straight yeah. away. Yeah. This is a really good Look meal. Look the size of mm. it. I don't know what yeah. I was expecting. I don't know why. Like, I didn't have any expectation because I've never been here before. But it's like exceeded whatever yeah. was in my head. Yeah, I'm glad we had this tonight because we're all more hungry. Mm. And it yeah. talks about charcuterie. For me, that's a bit of meat and cheese. Yeah, this is yeah, big, yeah. big flavour. Yeah. Like, this is the Flintstones, wow. isn't it? Like yeah. ribs. Okay, rib time, and we've got three pieces this big. Well, actually, this is the smallest of the three, so you can imagine how much meat we've got right now. Mm. Very good. Amazing barbecue flavour. Sort of pulls apart mm. really nicely. Is it beef or pork rib? Look at that. Is it? Yeah, it's it clean. Beefy, it's possibly it? the best ribs I've had. Slow really? cooked. Ever? Yeah. Wow. Like soft, the flavour's not overly sweet. Sometimes barbecue sauce is a bit too sweet and overpowering, but this is um, yeah, so so, so, so meaty. It's absolutely enormous. You don't get ribs like this in the UK. Yeah. No, you don't. Oh. Oh. What's that? Sorry, but uh, mirang we butter in cashew nuts. Oh, oh wow. cashew nuts. Wow. Thank nice. you. Wow. Good it's a bit Matilda, isn't it? The brown one. Oh, Bruce Bog Yes. Absolutely amazing. What are you trying to do to us? Thank you very much. Great, thank you. Salamat po. Hey. 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 <laughs> High five! <laughs> you like bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how old are you? Two. <laughs> What's your name? Okay, you good? 
Fish bump. Bye bye. See you later, buddy. You think? Yeah, no, So that meal was really lovely. The staff there are amazing. Pocadeli, highly recommend if you're visiting Brakai at Station X. Um, and now we've come down for sunset again. Third night in a row, our final night in Brakai before tomorrow we go to another oh, another destination. But um been a really nice day today. Koda and Georgia just behind here. I'm not sure where, where are they? Just behind. Dad and Claire, um, and they've had a nice day. They feel really happy today because they had a good sleep last night. Um, they were saying that it's getting quite exhausting, like these travel days. Obviously, we're really used to it, and their holidays are normally very relaxing and not moving around at all. The boats are all in front of the sun, and they're all over there. Oh, yeah, weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a different time of day, We've isn't it? <laughs> and all said it in exactly the same way. Oh, shut up. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking they're normally driving in front of the sun. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they're not. Oh, yeah. That is weird. I wonder why. Maybe something's different something. here tonight a or, wind or a wind something thing. Yeah. Oh, if if you didn't hear that, I was just saying normally the boats are along here um, in front of the sun where we are at station three. But they're all like near station one right now, the other side of the beach, and I don't know why. But there we go. But if it was extra busy on the beach tonight, super busy. Um, but it's just so nice that everyone like comes together every night in Brafai to watch the sunset. <laughs> Be the one where you open your mouth like you're eating the sun. <laughs> oh, what's oh oh? You got to stay there longer. Um. Koda, can I ask you a question? Did you eat Grandpa's egg? Did you? Did you? Who ate Grandpa's egg? Did you? Is it naughty? Was it yummy? Grandpa's egg. Did you? Hang on, wait. Wow. Grandpa's egg. Did you? Did you eat his egg? Yesterday. You could just stand there, but you're expert. No, you don't. Egg. Grandpa's ice cream. It's mine. It's mine. How much did you eat? How much? All of it. <laughs> Every time we walk past this shop, the girls here say, "Come in, come and play, and come and play with us." <laughs> And they just say, Mum and Dad, stay outside, you come in here and play. So, we just love sitting here. <laughs> Greeny grey, yeah. What's that? Yellow. Yellow. 
Bye.